Hi there, I'm Lisa and I design for Simple Stories. I have two projects for you today and I am using the Say Cheese 3 collection on both of them. I'm really excited as if you follow me already, you know um, as a family we are big Disney fans. So I'm going to get jumping straight in as I'm really excited. I've got a few bits and pieces. I've got the Say Cheese roller here. You can see the really cute stamps there. I'm going to be using this and I'm really going to be focusing on the washi tape today and just showing you some fun techniques on how to use washi other than just sticking it down. So um, that's going to be fun. And I've already printed off my photographs. I've got four little ones. I'm going to be making a mini film strip or photo strip. And I've got a couple of pieces here that I've trimmed down from the 12 by 12 papers. Another piece here and some of the die cuts as well. I've already started, I've trimmed down my white 12 by 12 cardstock and I've stuck it on the back of this Say Cheese 3 paper here. And I'm going to start by stenciling. I've laid it down. Now, as my stencil's 12 by 12 and the cardstock's 12 by 12, in theory, if it's equal on both sides, it should be central. And I'm going to be covering up the pieces that I don't want um, to be um, sprayed. So let's do that like that. And I'm actually going to need a larger piece. So I've actually trimmed some 12 by 12 down here. That way um, it's a proper cover for what I want to do. And I'm using one of my favorite mists, Sunflower Yellow from Maya Mist. I don't think these are available anymore. I'm just going to leave that to dry for a few minutes now. So that's just given me the little bit of colour that I wanted. I am now going to add my journal cards here. Further down, so I have the colour on top. I'm going to try and get these as even as possible. I've printed off four little photos. These are, one is taken from each of our Florida trips. Um, this one was taken 10 years ago when the kids were five and seven and then we've got 2010. I'm just going to lay them up and see where I want them to go. And we've got 2012 and 2014. Let's move these up slightly then I can just see. I'm going to do them at a slight angle. I've printed them off with white borders. I've tried to get them to be the same thickness. The photos actually measure 1.8 inch by 1.8 inch, so they're quite diddy. Now, I should have done this beforehand. I've just realized, let's move that. I want my tape to go across the bottom there. Have it going from one side to the next. Actually, I'm changing my mind. I'm just gonna have the tape running. Right, I'm now going to be adding um, some other bits and pieces. I like all the bits and pieces, they're really fun to add. And I'm going to use, add some 3D foam tape on some of these. One of the things I was looking forward to making and showing you how to use the washi tape is a bow. I've stuck the tape down just on some normal uh, thin white cardstock. So I've created the pieces for my bow and to do that you take your tape and you run it along, stick it down and then I've stuck two pieces so you can see I have a join there and then you trim it down into lengths and then you cut your pieces at an angle and these two you can bend round and staple in place. So I'm using 3D foam tape just to secure it in place. These are now held in place and I'm adding tape on the back of each of one of these. I'm just matching it up on each side. I want to give it the illusion that obviously it's a bow. I've just found one of the, the pieces here from the bits and pieces and I'm going to use that and stick it on the top there. That will hide the joins of the bow nicely and that's my bow. 
tidied up the bow I've added a couple of bits and pieces here and I've now got this card here that I think I'm going to use um, it's part of the 12 by 12 that I've um, cut down and it's a journal card but I actually want to use the letters so I'm just going to cut these out leaving the red border around the outside I'm now going to stick these letters in place just on the edge of my layout it's almost done this one's come together really nice and fast I might actually use the 3d foam tape to stick the there we go and I'm going to add a little bit of journaling underneath. I'm going to use the remainder of my washi tape. This was left over from the bow and I'm going to trim it down to give it some journal lines. These are my three little strips and as they've got the white card backing on the back, it just makes it so much easier for me. I just feel like I've got a little bit more control. You can obviously just use the washi tape as it is. So I've done my journaling, that's now done. I'm now going to use this little roller stamp. I think it's really important just to test it out first so you can see how it stamps. And I'm just going to use it as a little border in a few places there on the corner. It doesn't have to be perfect, so you don't need to panic too much. There we go. And that's my layout. Quite pleased with that. I'll add a few close ups for you to see. Now on to my second project. I am going to be framing this one. I have a white 12 by 12 frame. I bought this one from Wilkinson's for just six pounds. They also come in black and wood frames and with the mount as well and I think they're really good value. It's a really nice thickness and I've got a space on my Disney gallery wall waiting for this so I'm very excited to be making this project. I've decided to lay it out and actually design the layout first so this is what I've done. I recommend doing this when you're doing something framed as you don't quite want to get it wrong and the other thing I'm going to do is take a photo of the layout before I continue. By taking a photo of the layout, you can then just copy what you've done just in case you forget. I've laid it to one side and I'm going to be taking the glass out. I've taken the frame to pieces. I have the mount here, just very slightly larger than the cardstock I've cut out. And um, it's now like I'm working on an eight by eight layout. So now I want to stick everything in place. These um, come from the snap pack here that I've taken, the Say Cheese 3 snap pack. Um, there's some really, really lovely cards. They're great for scrapbooking with. I'll pop this one along the bottom. I like to use repositional tape and I never put too much tape on and I never press it down really firmly until I'm happy with where everything is. I'll try and get that as central as possible. I'm going to use some foam tape for my photo so it's slightly raised and I'm going to be hanging this on the wall. I like to print my photos off with a white border. I think it just really helps them stand out well. And then just using the die cuts. These die cuts are so brilliant for embellishing really really fun and I like the yellow here just for a little bit of extra color I've got a few more die cuts here that I'm just layering up now I want to attach this I'm gonna do this one afterwards actually I think now I want to get this inside my frame so I've turned the mount around the other side and I'm just going to use some regular clear tape to hold this in place Going to double check before I continue make sure it's nice and central I'm not going to be replacing the glass so I'm going to pop the glass in the recycling bin and that's now held nicely in place just always double checking 
go. I love how clean that's looking. I'm just going to add a few more of the die cuts. I, I'm now going to work, I've got the mount and I've got the layout and I'm going to work on bringing the two together now. I want the die cuts to overlap both of them. It's really fun um, framing a layout actually. It's, um, it's always such a shame just to keep them in an album where they don't really get seen. Let's put that up there. Or should we put the blue heart? Make sure that's stuck down. And I think my layout's almost done. I'm just going to do one more thing. And I'm using the washi tape. I'm going to use the washi along the top of the frame. You can use washi tape for all kinds of things. I've got washi tape running along the edges of my shelves. I think that looks really cute. You can use washi tape. I've used it too. I wash out my jam jars and then I wrap washi tape around the outside. So they turn into pen pots or little um, mini vases. They look really cute as tea light holders. They look really nice, so that's really fun. My niece wears a hearing aid, she's eight, and they wrap washi tape around her hearing aid so that they look pretty. There is my frame. So I'm really, really pleased with that. It's going to look really nice on my wall. And I've jazzed up the frame as well, just to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm really pleased with that. I hope you've enjoyed my projects today. I really love this collection and I hope you do too. Thank you for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this and please do subscribe as well. Thank you, bye.